So this mask finally did allow me to get a print from this negative that I like. And I think we might have done it. This is a contrast increase mask, a shadow contrast increase mask. And what it does, it allows me to actually just print in shadows that I've isolated from the negative. So the way I made this mask was with ortho, uh, Arista Ortho Litho Film from Freestyle. And it's actually a, it's a two-step mask. So the first thing I did was punch a piece of Arista Film, then took my negative and contact printed it under the enlarger. And this was to make the, the first stage inner positive, the one I'm gonna actually print the mask from. And the way that I like to think about this is when you're making the inner positive, it's, it's like you're making a positive print. And any areas that I want to be able to print back later, to separate them, I need, I need density there. Everything else I wanna leave clear. So that's how you're kind of separating that out. Cause then once you print that, the areas that are clear on that inner positive are gonna be black and block everything else out. The areas that had density on that inner positive are gonna be clear and that's what you're gonna print back in. And I do wanna to note, to make this work, you do need a pin registration system. Uh, one that you can put in and out of your enlarger stage that will keep everything register. So for my inner positive, I stopped the lens down to f16, made a test strip, determined that I liked nine seconds, and I developed that in HC 110, one to 30 for two minutes. Then to make the final mask, I contact printed that again in register in the negative carrier under the enlarger. Put the negative on top, emulsion to emulsion, did another test print, and for my final mask, I came up with F16, 18 seconds. Again, it was at two minutes, and I developed in the same HC 110, one to 30. You can just see, as soon as you make a mask like this, where it's actually going to print. And I was really trying to target the, the black areas in the arch. On a side note, I cannot find the inner positive that I made this mask from and I'm very sorry about that I wanted to show you what that looks like as well but just say it is a reverse of this so wherever there's black here it was clear on the inner positive wherever there's clear here it was black on the inner positive so this mask finally did allow me to get a print from this negative that I like it ended up being a series of three exposures a, a pre-flash with a mask the regular exposure and then a scrim and actually a burn in too. But anyway, I'm going to uh, roll a video showing me uh, printing my final print of the arch. I'm going to use this ink jet dodge mask to flash the paper. I did have to modify this one a little bit as I was getting some uh, lines. So what I did was I kind of feathered out the edge a little more and made it more gradual so that it was less noticeable. Actually, it's not noticeable at all now. So I'm gonna put this in the enlarger and flash this for five seconds. Next, I'm gonna open the aperture. Uh, I had it stopped all the way down for the flash. So I'm gonna carefully open the lens up to F8. Then I'm gonna pull this out. And the one thing I would have to say is you do have to be a little bit more careful with dust. So I did the flash at the zero zero filter and I'm also gonna do a cloud burn with the zero zero filter. So I'm going to leave this at the filter at zero zero. And now I have the actual negative in and I'm gonna do my cloud burn.
then I'm going to change the filter for my main exposure from zero, zero to one. And so the main exposure was an eight second print with filter one. Now I'm gonna pull the uh, negative carrier back out. Pull the actual negative out. Put the contrast increase mask in the carrier. Give it a nice dust off. And give this an exposure just for the shadows of four seconds. And I did put the filter on two and a half as well. And I think we might have done it.